Hey folks, we're back with the Eclipse Converge Terminator kit, and you can see that we are somewhere around um, 1.0, or it'll actually be a little bit below 1.0. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to transfer to um, Carboy and uh, move along. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do our transfer and uh, get set up to do that. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this wine because we're going to have to put that F-pack in. Alright, so we'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. And what I have here in order to rack is I have this uh, anti-sediment tip on the uh, siphon or the racking cane and to, to rack this time in the past you guys have seen me rack using a uh, auto siphon right so this time I'm using the all-in-one wine pump and what's great about that is it helps degas at the same time so that's what I'm gonna do works real easy I turn it on and the wine will flow out of one into this carboy and the way that that works is the pump makes a vacuum in the uh, carboy and that pulls the uh, wine through one of the things I've done is I took out some of the wine ahead of time so I wouldn't overflow Alright, so here we are, and we've transferred. You can notice a lot of the gas has come out at this point. So, with that being said, I have some room in there, so I didn't overflow anything. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, add to that carboy the F pack and the sorbate and metabisulfite. Alright, so I've got two packets here. So I'm going to add that, stir it in, then I'm going to add the F-pack. You guys are going to see me do that in about a minute, okay? So I'm just going to move the uh, siphon out of the way. Alright, so one of the things I just did is I used to wash my spoon, and um, notice I had the back end of the spoon going in so I could easily stir. Right? And to that, I'm going to add the two packets, sorbate and metabisulfite. So very simple, I just pour it in and stir it up. Have the directions say to mix it in with some water, you could certainly do that too, but I'm going to just pour it in and stir it up. So once that's in, I'm just going to take this and stir it around, like so. Now, you guys have also saw me degas before with my wine whip. You know, like the thing that hooks up to the uh, the thing that hooks up to the drill press, not drill press, drill hand drill. Right? You put it in and you use the drill. But I'm using the all-in-one wine pump to do the same thing. So instead of the wine whip on the drill, the power drill, I'm going to be using the wine pump over there to degas. If you notice, when it was degassing, or when it was transferring, it was degassing at the same time. And you saw the foam come up to the top. So, I just put that in, stirred that in a bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my F-pack over here 
I'm gonna do it. Pliers. Got my F pack. I'm gonna take the top off like that. And I'm gonna very carefully try not to make a big mess. Pour that in. You can see I made a bit of a mess, so I'm going to clean that up real quick. Always fun. Did it get on the outside? I think it's all on the inside. Okay, a little tiny bit got on the outside. But for the most part, it's on the inside. Which is a good thing. You want the wine to go in instead of out. Alright. Now I'm going to pour the rest of my reserved wine in, also trying not to make a huge mess. So, you might ask me what am I going to do next? What I'm going to do next, because I want to degas this really well now, is transfer it from that one to this one. little bit so you can see from one to the other back and forth I'm going to do that twice from here to here to here back again and that should get most of the gas out what I'm going to be able to put in my sparkle oil to um, clarify that all right so I'm going to set that up and be right back all right so at this point what I have is I have the anti-sediment tip off of the uh, siphon and I'm going to transfer it again to that other cleaned and sanitized carboy. This is the sparkaloid powder that I use in place of chitosan in all of my winemaking. Now I use this because the chitosan again is made from shellfish and I try to avoid shellfish for folks that have shellfish allergies. I have another whole video on how to mix this up. You can just follow the directions on the side but I do have another whole video on it and um, that's what I choose to use. Hi right, folks, so I just added my sparkaloid and topped up a bit with water and I'm just going to be putting this airlock on All right. and one of the other things I typically do is I like to keep the stuff that came with the wine with the wine whatever I have left all right, so I'm going to take my Ziploc bag, tear a hole in it, get my paper towel, dry this off a little bit, and put that on, and I'm going to put that aside for about two to three weeks, maybe even four, and let it clear. And at that point, after it's done clearing, I'm going to be racking off of it and filtering and bottling, which is a great time because we get to test it out. All right, so that's our Gewürztraminer Eclipse Kit. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to be doing my other kits next. All right, so um, I have... Same day, I'm going to do the uh, nocturnal kit you guys saw me do, and the other kit as well, the um, wild grapes. All right, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned. So appreciate it. Take care. 
All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com, with the dashes in the middle, or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and have an awesome day.